welcome back to my channel my name is Fusayo Patrick in this video I'm going to be talking about four digital channels to focus all your efforts on in 2022 four digital channels to focus all your efforts on in 2022 so before we get into this video I just have a quick um, update to update you guys on so I recently made um, a post on Instagram this post right here and I announced that there was there is now a slight change in the audience that I cater to so formerly um, my audience were business owners who wanted to transition their business online or who were already online and wanted to create um, profitable brands for their businesses but right now um, that's no longer the case there's a slight change so after um, looking through my 2021 and you know the previous years before that I realized that the people that I've been working with the clients that have been coming and the kind of um, my own background it's more of creative professionals nine to fivers who want to now create this is our business for themselves so before business owners but now nine to fivers who want to create digital business corporate professionals who want to create digital business who want to create online businesses so if you fall into that category then welcome to this channel i want you to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you join you become part of the community all right so back to the video you are starting a digital business and um, maybe you don't have a product in mind yet and um, you know you just want to start putting yourself out there or maybe you want to you want to create a personal brand and you want to put yourself out there and you don't know where to start from this are the four digital channels that i recommend so the first one is a website you need to have a website if you've been following this channel and if you've been following my social media you know that i'm a big believer in having a um, business website i really believe in having a business website and that's because having a website really helped me in my digital um, business game so when i first started out many people didn't really know me and there was no way i wasn't a celebrity so there was no way to start getting clients so what i did was i created a blog which later transitioned into a website and you know it sort of put me on the map put me out there i would often get comments on my blog posts where people are saying okay they really like what i'm sharing and they followed me on instagram and stuff like that and also i started getting um official clients so you know i moved from solving problems for my friends and family to actually solving problems for people who didn't know me but get to know me through my website and who paid you know um, what I was charging so having a website sort of puts you out there it increases um, your visibility lets people know about you people will go online to search for you if maybe you reach out to them one way or the other they search for you to know how credible your business is so having a website gives you um, increases your visibility and also gives you credibility and also you if you run things very well you can show up organically on search results pages and that's good it increases your visibility increases your clientele and it's offer gives you the social proof that you need another thing having a website does is it maximizes your roi in the sense that creating a website does not really cost much if you're using a, um, a content management system like wordpress it doesn't cost much but it puts you in front of potential customers, which means when these people eventually convert, you get double the money that you have put into building the website. The second thing that I'm going to talk about, second digital channel to focus your efforts on is an email list. One very popular advice for anyone who is running a digital business is to have an email list. It's very, very important, very, very important. And if if you have a website you can easily put a freebie that would bring in the people so to get your freebie they will put they only to opt in they put your um, they put their email address and get your freebie or lead magnet having an email list is um, independent okay no algorithm is is limiting your reach no um, method or style of any social platform is 
is working against you it is independent it's on its own once it's la- once it's once it lands on in people's emails they open it and you know read and another thing is it's targeted so for somebody to give you so for somebody to provide their email addresses for you it means that they are already interested in what you have to offer so they are your potential clients they are your warm audience so all you have to do is meet their needs through your emails part point it's very personal it's like you're speaking to them one on one you've been signed if you've signed up for people's emails you see how personal it can get they personalize the emails they use your first name they talk about um the reason why you opted in they talk about uh what they can offer you which made you opt in in the first place finally then the email list is yours you own it you don't have to worry about any social platform taking it down facebook doesn't they don't have a right over your email list um, instagram doesn't have a right over your email list it's yours the only thing that you need to do is to structure it out flesh it out with automations and make sure that you are solving people's needs in the email and the third thing the third digital channel that you need to focus your efforts on is social media so before you go on social media or before you start using any social media for your business i'll advise that you first research that social media what is it about which one will help you? which one is suitable for the kind of business that you're doing uh, what type of content is best for that in, um, for that social platform and um, what kind of people are on that social platform so for instance Instagram is one social platform is different from LinkedIn LinkedIn is a professional platform and if you have a professional services LinkedIn is the best place for you to be but if you've already started out on social media and now you've realized that it's not um, you know tailor to your audience it's not too late to change it's not too late to switch and create a content plan that will help you reach your audience another good reason to be on social media is that it helps you to communicate real time with your customers or with the audience and it keeps them engaged it makes them happy because you are able to answer pending questions solve problems um you know offer value through your social media if you're using instagram for instance and someone buys a product and they don't like what they bought and they come to you on, on your instagram and you reply to them immediately you solve the problem that they have you provide a solution they will come back next time or they refer you to their friends so social media is good if you're not on social media if you're not using social media for business you should and understand that a social media business page is different from a social media personal account i'm going to do that in another video um, i don't know when but definitely this year or yeah this year definitely this year next the month the fourth digital channel to focus your efforts on is a youtube channel a youtube channel so i get it not everybody can be confident in front of camera not everybody can shoot videos but you are not everybody you are somebody who is creating a digital business so you need to put yourself out there as much as you can you need to um, maximize every visibility options that you can so being camera shy is not for you one thing having a youtube channel does is that um it helps you to create a much more personal connection with your audience as i'm speaking to you don't you feel that you know me don't you feel that we know each other I mean, if I'm teaching you stuff on YouTube and you are able to learn things through my tutorial videos, you feel that you know me and me that I'm creating that content for you, I feel that I know you. So it creates a much more personal touch. It also helps you showcase your personality. People like to see the personalities behind every brand. They don't like a robotic brand. So having a YouTube channel shows your personality to people. They know if they can trust you, they know the kind of person that you are, they fall in love with you through the value that you offer, that, that, and that. And also a, um, a YouTube channel, if properly done, can be a huge source of income for you. Yeah, if you do the monetization thing, well, it brings you more money, okay? So that is the end of the four things I'm talking about. Um, one thing I'll advise though is to start one after the other. Don't rush into everything. If you're starting with a website, get a website, create your web pages, 
create your blog create your content calendar for your blog next move to instagram open an instagram page um, instagram business page and start doing that then next you can um, create an email list although you know that could be the second thing you do after creating a website create an email list and then next you create a youtube channel just make sure that you do them one after the other don't rush at the same time so you don't get overwhelmed thank you for watching this video i hope that you found it valuable if you have please leave a comment in the comment section i beg all of my videos don't have <laughs> don't have comments so please leave a comment below subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed like it hit the notification bell and follow me on instagram at fisayopatrickwan i'll see you in the next video